Hello, and welcome to this new video. Let's take a look at the newest feature in cloud content delivery, promotion only buckets. In CCD, you build and configure your release by packaging assets in buckets. For example, you can have different buckets for environments such as development, staging, or production. We now allow you to configure your bucket's right conditions so that only owners and managers can modify the content from certain buckets via the promotion process. This helps to avoid errors when adding content to certain buckets, for example, production buckets. When creating a new promotion-only bucket, you only need to set the right conditions to promotion-only. Since our players will be downloading content from our production bucket, we would like to add content to it. So we need to promote that content from another bucket. In this example, we have a bucket configured as open to all called development. I'll add this content to that one. Now let's promote that content. In my development bucket, I go to the latest release and then choose promote. I pick my staging bucket and wait. And now I do the same to production. I can also go back to my project and see the updated content being pulled from the correct bucket. And now you can see in our example, the new release is in our addressable. First, you want to make sure that your project ID is correctly linked to your new project and you can confirm the project ID here. And then if you go back to the Unity editor, under Edit Project Settings, you'll be able to go to the Services tab. And if you don't have one linked, you'll be able to select the organization under your Unity account. And you'll want to hit Use an Existing Project ID. And then you'll want to select your project and it's going to ask you to confirm the link. And now you notice that it now matches the project ID that we have on our dashboard. So once that's complete, we are going to go back to the dashboard, go to live ops, setup guide, and you can check if you are currently using the addressables package as the first step by going back to Unity, Window, Package Manager, and you want to go to the packages in your project. And as you can see, we're using the addressables 1.18.19 package. So let's go back to the onboarding guide. We're going to check the box that says we are using the addressables package, and we're going to create our first bucket. So you can give buckets a name and this will help differentiate them. So for this first bucket, we're gonna call it development. And you can also provide more context in the description of the bucket. So we can call it building cool stuff. And we've made our first bucket. So now we'll have to update the addressables profiles. You'll simply grab this UI, go back into your Unity, you're going to go to Windows, Asset Management, Addressables, Profiles. And you'll wanna make sure that in the Remote Load Path field to paste that Addressables URL that you got from the dashboard. And we'll want to go back to the Addressables Groups UI, hit Build, And what this will do is it will build your asset bundles with that new remote load URL that you just pasted. So that Unity will know where to fetch the data from for those bundles. Now we'll have to upload some content to CCD and you can simply hit that UI. We can browse our finder or file explorer and upload the bundles that we want to stream. And as you can see, we're saving quite a bit of data by uploading this content to the cloud rather than having it sit on our user's application on their phone 
or their tablet. And you can kind of see the progress and status as they're uploaded, which is helpful. So once that's done, you'll hit continue setup and we'll want to create a release. And so we can name this release one, for example. And here you'll see if there's any custom badges that your buckets have that you can assign them to this release. But by default, the latest badge will be assigned. Hit confirm. And we've created our new release. So what we'll now do is create a promotion only bucket. And this will allow us to be specific as to which content we pull from. Then you will promote the content from the development bucket to the staging bucket. You'll be able to give it a new name for its release inside the promotion only bucket, any badges you want to apply. And you can see here from which bucket you're going to and from. And that's it, we're done. So I hope you've enjoyed this segment on the onboarding guide for cloud content delivery. Private buckets are protected buckets that are meant to prevent unintended retrieval and access of content. For example, a pre-released bucket of content that is only meant for developer use or testing, or an untested bucket that is meant for review, for promotion to the staging and release buckets. This allows for greater security of your content and segmentation of buckets for specific audiences, for example. So potentially one for Android and another one for iOS, and each with their own unique bucket access token. So here we have three existing buckets, development, production, and staging. And these do not currently require an access token and are not private buckets. So let's create a new bucket and we can call that the, for example, pre-release bucket. And if you take a look at the bottom, you'll see that there's a bucket privacy option and we are going to enable that for this bucket. Please note that the bucket privacy settings can't be changed after you selected that. And then let's call this pre-release and give it a description. And you can also set the bucket right conditions, which are independent from its privacy settings. This is just for how you can upload the content to that bucket. And as you can see, our new bucket is right there with a new UI label that designates it as a private bucket. So how do you get access to these buckets? Well, there's two ways. The first way is the API key. And note that this key will allow access for any of the buckets, private or not private. You can also go back to your buckets, click on the bucket itself and go to the new settings tab. You'll be able to confirm some of the information about the bucket and you'll be able to then add a new token, which creates a new bucket access token specific for this private bucket. So you could name the token and we'll call it developer access. And so here's a quick guide on how to actually use that token. And so if you see this script that we have, this will allow you to authorize a client to access the content within this private bucket. And as of the addressables version 1.19.4 package, you'll be able to call this function called web request override. And then with the ability to set this request header. And so you'll have this authorization string and then you will append the bucket access token after that. And then you'll be able to fetch content from that private bucket using this web request override. Something to note is that you'll want to use this clean bundle cache function so that you don't have any incorrect data before submitting this new web request. And that's all for this segment on private buckets. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that in your project settings, you are linked to the correct Unity organization with the correct Unity project ID. And you can take a look at the dashboard and see that we do have a bucket already set up, but it doesn't have any releases in it yet. 
So if we go back to the Unity Editor, you can see that we have our standard Lodi Dungeons game. And if you go to our addressables groups, you can see that we have some levels as well as hats set up. We'll be focusing on the hats for this quick segment. And so you can go to the addressables profile and click create, and you'll be able to create a new profile path pair. And so that'll show up on the right as you can see. From there, you'll hit that drop down menu and you can click cloud content delivery and you'll see that bucket that we had previously made. If you click on that, you'll be able to pick from a variety of badges or if you only have the default latest one, that one. And as you can see on the groups for the hats, you'll want to change the build and load path to that new variable that we just created. And then you'll simply hit that build and release. And so what this is doing is it automatically will build the asset bundle for you with the new remote path pair, load your content to that CCD bucket that you have previously created. And so what this does is it removes a lot of the friction around the cloud content delivery dashboard and creation of buckets and releases because this can now be done from inside the editor. And so now that the content is uploaded, if we go back to the dashboard and update the bucket, you can see that the content has been uploaded and a new release created. And so if we go back to the Unity Editor and press play, you'll see the hats pop in just like that. And just for reference, let's take a look at the package manager versions. And so you'll see that we are using the addressables version 1.19. And we are using the CCD Management API 1.00. And that's it for this segment. Hope you've enjoyed the updated addressables and CCD in editor workflow.